He came right at the boat. Look at this guy go, man. Holy smoke. Welcome back to yet another beautiful day in paradise. We're here in uh, Cayo Coco, Cuba. We're actually out of uh, Cayo Guillermo today, which is right up over here. And uh, we're back out, same game plan. I've got my uh, crazy brother here with me, John. And we've got uh, Jose up in the front here, our captain. Going for uh, Cubera Snapper, Red Snapper, Barracuda, and uh, Jacks pretty much. So. Anything we get into out here is a lot of fun. These things fight like crazy. So stay tuned. We'll get back to you when we get into the fish. Fish, fish on. He's off. Shoot. No, he's back. <laughs> Barracuda, I think. Barracuda. Oh, he's got one with him, John. Throw him. Throw him. this way. Straight out here. No, this way. <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? Ah, <laughs> oh, Johnny. Oh, he's, now he woke up, eh? Awesome. These things fight so hard. They're just trying to take me down in the reef there. He had one behind him. I got John casting out here, see if he can grab the other one. I think it's a barracuda. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's your line there, buddy? Yeah, there's something down with him. Yeah, he's wrong. Good one, big barracuda. Look at that, guys. That's a good sized barracuda. I got one hook in the cheek here. We might do a boat side release on this one. Yeah. You have your pliers, John? Oh, he's going under the boat here. Here we go. That is a nice barracuda, man. Let's see if I can get him unhooked here. See if I can hold him up for a picture, maybe. Gracias. Here we go. I'm gonna go up under the uh, gill here. Yeah. Now we can work on him. Look at this, guys. How cool is that? First fish of the day. Ah, pirates. Ah. I'm gonna get you my camera, John, if you can reel in for a sec. Grab him right here. I'm gonna grab him just like a muskie. But you gotta watch out for those teeth there. Look at those. Those will slice finger and bone. There you go. Okay. And I'll let this guy go. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome, man. He's got some battle scars on him. I think he may have ran into the reef. I was fighting him. I think he's good. There he goes. See ya, buddy. Thanks. Cool. So we got a little bit more favorable conditions today. You can see the wind coming through here. So we're getting uh, some nice chop here. It's a pretty big chop, actually, but it's also pushing us down along the edge of these reefs. You can see when the sun's out. You'll probably see it a bit later on. The sun's behind a cloud right now, but there's dark patches and those are rocks and uh, coral and that type of thing so we're looking for those boulders 
and uh, the coral heads, that type of thing. And the fish seem to be hanging around there. But this wind is uh, definitely helping today because we're getting a good drift going. It also helps turn the fish on a little bit when it's a bit choppy like this. Fish on. Buddy. Good Johnny. What do you got on there? That axe wrap? Big? John? Big? Talk to me, buddy. Give me some vibes, man. No, I can't yet. Put another fish on here, but we don't know what it is yet. Probably a barracuda, boy, it's fighting. But uh, I don't know if we can see it down there yet. See him yet, Johnny? Oh, yeah, there he is, barracuda. Oh, no, it's a snapper, I think. Ah, we got our lunch. <laughs> nice. That's a good one, bud. There he is. Okay. All right. Give me, give me some line. There. I'll get the hooks out. Look at the head on that thing. These things are like, uh, I don't know what you could compare them to, but uh, they fight. They hit like a bass, but they fight 10 times as hard. So we can get this out of there. Oh. Oh yeah, it wasn't coming out. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful big snapper. You want a picture, Johnny? Look at that, guys. These things are just incredible. The power, 50 pound braid, 80 pound fluoro leader, and they will still beat you up. Let's get a picture. Say snapper, buddy. Hang on, I'm gonna take a couple. <laughs> Hold him this way a bit more, to your left. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, broke. Came off. Ah, it was a good fish. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Here, here, here. He came this way. <laughs> he came right at the boat. Look at this guy go, man. Holy smoke. I'm gonna start the motor. I have uh, my line. Oh, no, it's okay. Ugh. It's a big fish. Ah! Damn! That was a big fish, man. You got my lure. My friggin' lucky lure, you got it. You got everything. Broke in the reef. You can tell by the, uh, there's no twizzle in the line here, no twist. And it's just uh, ripped off on the coral there. That was a big fish. That might've been a big uh, Kubera snapper. If you're coming down to Cuba and you want to get out fishing for the day, you can uh, hook up with a guy like uh, our friend Jose over here. And uh, you can, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the um, description down below for Jordan. Uh, we call him Jordan, but his actual name is Jordan. And uh, I'll put a link to his Facebook page so that you can get a hold of him and then book to come out here with uh, Jose. It's very affordable. You will need to bring your own tackle, however. Um, we're using seven foot heavy action St. Croix uh, Mojo inshore rods, uh, paired up pretty much with Shimano uh, Stratic 5000s. We got these spooled with anywhere from 50 to 60 pound braid and uh, an 80 pound leader. And bring extra baits. You are going to lose uh, lures down here when you're fighting these fish, as we have done today. But like I said, if you want to hook up with uh, Jose, you can uh, check out Jordan's Facebook page and send him a private message and he'll set it up for you. And you're looking at about 175 kook. Uh, for a five hour charter. We generally, uh, the last couple of days, we stayed out a little bit longer, but you're looking at about 175 kook, which is the uh, convertible human peso that they uh, have for tourists down here. And, uh, and don't forget to tip, please, guys. These guys, uh, everybody down here essentially works for the government, and uh, including Jose here, and uh, they rely on those tips to live. They get paid very, very little. And all the money that you pay for the boat goes to the government 
uh, which is uh, at the marina, which is a government owned marina. So make sure you tip your guide, guys. We generally tip anywhere from 50 to 80 kook a day, depending on uh, how our day goes. But uh, minimum we tip is about 50 kook per day per guide. So fish on. Yeah. Not very big, I don't think. But sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes they sort of come right at you. This is a little guy. Or is it? Oh, snapper, a little snapper. We're gonna let this guy go so he can grow up to be a, a big snapper. And I'm just gonna grab him under the belly here. Pop that hook out. There we go. Oh, quick release. Thanks, buddy. One thing you gotta make sure you do when you're out here is drink. Try and drink at least two of these a day out here. You get dehydrated so quickly and you don't even realize it. By the time you get back to the hotel, you wonder why you feel like crap and you got a big headache. So drink lots of water. Ciego Montero water, preferably, apparently. Good thing with these uh, big heavy plugs here is they allow you to get really long cast what you want you want to get way out away from the boat fish on oh gone oh no gone yeah 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 come on big big barracuda Missed him. I don't know if you saw that on the camera, guys. Just had a good sized barracuda come up. Look at the bait here. That's uh, been through the wars. These things are generally destroyed by the time you get done. This was a brand new lure. I've already lost two of these and uh, a couple of big X wraps. They do work really well. I'm going to try a little bit of uh, top water action again. Got it on a musky outfit here. Seven foot uh, heavy action musky rod. Uh, Daiwa reel, seven to one ratio. Fish. Fish, yeah, big fish. Yeah. Oh, shit. God. Hit it right on the top. Damn. That was a good fish. Just had one hit. Make sure he didn't get my leader or anything here. I got a little bit of a nick, but I'm gonna take a chance here because I want to get it back out there. Yeah, fish on. Right. Oh, jumper. He ah, he's off. Shit, he got my bait. Got the popper. That's another expensive lure. Gone to the fish. Cut clean off, look at that. Took the leader and the popper. I gotta tie on another one here. Fish. Right on the back. It exploded on that. Barracuda. Not big. Been way too easy. Don't get my head popper. Last one of these I have. No, no, it's, uh, what is that? Is that Jack? Look at this little guy. I'm gonna bring him in here. I'll get him on the hook. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, okay, okay. John, do you want to pass me that gripper there, buddy? These. I don't think we've had one of these yet. I can get those hooks out of there. And uh, let's take, let's take a look at this. I can believe he ate that. Look at that. He ate that bait. I was afraid. My brother's falling over in the boat over there. He's uh, listen to him grunt, grunter. Thanks, buddy. There we go. 
gone. Okay, we haven't done a giveaway in a while, so I'm going to be giving away. Actually, what am I giving away, Malcolm? We're giving away two Yozuri Mag Daughters. Two Yozuri Mag Daughters. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a post on our Facebook page. I'll put a link in the uh, video right here. There'll also be a link in the description below the video. Follow the link, go over to our Facebook page, follow the three easy steps there, and uh, you'll be entered into the draw. Probably draw the names uh, around the 1st of April, and uh, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everyone. That's right. Oh, there's my popper, my popper. See? <laughs> See it? Can we go get it? Hey! Got it back. Look at that. Bit the leader right up here. That means he hit that. He hit that way short. See that, John? Yeah. That's where the fish hit it up here. So, <laughs> I mean, normally we'd use wire if we were going for barracuda, but we're primarily fishing for uh, Kubera snapper and uh, red snapper, that type of thing. So we want to use these fluorocarbon leaders. But the barracuda will annihilate these. But uh, as you can see. If they hit it in the wrong spot and you don't get the hooks in the mouth, you may lose a lot of poppers in a day. this guy go so they can reproduce what an amazing fish these things are just so so powerful they will mess you up eh John I'm uh, gonna let it go there he goes awesome buddy thanks good work man good work we're out of time. This is our final day. We're heading in and uh, I do highly recommend if you haven't been down here, get down to Kaiokoko. You can fish all around the Kaiokoko area, Paradon and uh, Cayo Guillermo. If you want to get a hold of uh, Jose here, our fantastic captain, um, please look up. Uh, I will put his information down below actually, but you'll have to go through Jordan to get a hold of him and uh, you can book a trip that way when you come down here. You can pretty much come out for about five hours when you're staying at a resort. You will need to bring your own equipment and uh, we've had a fabulous few days out here in various different areas. And if you like what you saw in these three episodes that I'm hoping to put together out of all this footage I got, please hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, bell icon so you get notified when new videos go live and uh, please hit the like as well and leave a comment let me uh, let me know your questions if you're coming down this way I'll be more than happy to try and help if, uh, if I don't get too many of them anyway thanks for watching I'm Sean Rickard we'll see you next time for yet another outdoor adventure